the topic which we will study now is the distinction between a plane mirror concave mirror and convex mirror without touching them so you have studied that there are two types of mirror flat mirrors and spherical mirrors flat mirrors are also called plane mirrors so when you are standing in front of a plane mirror and you are asked to identify the nature of mirror without touching you will definitely have to see your image to identify that mirror so when you look at the plane mirror you will find your image is upright or erect as well as the size of the image is same as that of the object and the most important is a uh, point is that the size of the image does not change with respect to the position of the object so when this these three observations uh, with the help of these three observations you will be able to find and identify that whether the given mirror is a plane mirror or not now if you have been given to identify the nature of the spherical mirror then again the same analysis you will de- uh, do you will look at the image formed on the particular mirror unless and until you are standing very close to a mirror and you find that the image is inverted and as you move away towards the mirror the size of the image is changing this is one thing and when you are too close to the mirror you if you find that the image is erect or upright that means the uh, the mirror which you have in front of you is definitely a concave mirror because concave mirror is the only mirror which gives you inverted image when the object is a little far off from the mirror but it the image of the object becomes erect when it is too close to it however in front of a convex mirror you will always find your image to be erect as well as very small or diminished doesn't matter wherever you are standing either you are very far off from the mirror or you are very closer to the mirror you will always find your image to be upright as well as diminished that means smaller than the size of the object also you will notice that the size of the image is decreasing if you are going away from the mirror or if the mirror is going away from the object so these points you will have to remember while distinguishing between the two uh, sorry the three types of mirror without touching them